Hi there folks, welcome to Dunsey's Guitar World and welcome to a very quick guitar lesson and first of all, can I say a massive thank you to everyone who uh, who's watched my status quo video I can't believe the amount of people who, uh, who watched it Thank you, thank you very much A big Quo fan It's the first Quo song I've done, I don't know why it took me so long to feature some Quo Anyway, I had a few comments on that cover um, Could I show people how to play the way I'm playing the riff now? I will say as I said in the the cover video, I don't think I'm playing it correctly. I'm I, that's just my interpretation of 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 what the guitars doing. I don't think it's what the guitars are doing on the album. Um, I could couldn't find a live version of this song. I don't think the band ever played it live. So I'm just going by ear on what I think is being played on the album, and I'm playing it in standard tuning. I have a suspicion that's perhaps in some sort of detuned, maybe detuning or something like that. So that's what today's video is, a very quick, hopefully very simple lesson for Drifting Away by Status Quo. I do hope you enjoy it and I hope it's helpful. As I say, I'm not convinced this is how the band are playing on the album, but I think it's, it's good enough if you turn up to band practice with a few Quo-like minded mates, maybe a couple of brewskis, I think you would get through the song if you play the way that I was playing it in a cover version. As ever, folks, it's a privilege and a pleasure bringing you content on Dunsey's Guitar World. Just for now. So the first part is just the D string open, and then we're going to hit the 7th fret of the G, and then the 5th fret of the G, while hitting the D string at the same time. So it goes like this. So you're only hitting two strings, D, G. Now, the way I played it, I slid into that first note, like this. So you're kind of sliding from around about the fourth fret, it doesn't really matter, just as long as you hit the seventh fret of the G and the open D at the same time. Down to the fifth fret of the G, open D string. part you're playing all these notes on the A and D strings. So the first note is the fourth fret of the A, at the same time you're hitting the fifth fret of the D. Sounds a bit discordant. Now you're sliding that up one fret. Like that. Now I will show you another way of playing this because this is quite tricky. This is how I played it on the cover. Now you do that twice quite quickly. So 4th fret of the A, 5th fret of the D, slide up 1 fret. Twice. Put those two bits together. I'll play that a couple of times slowly. Into the next bit, you play those two notes again, 5th fret of the A, 6th fret of the D, play it once, and then down, again, this is all on these two strings, the A string, D string, so it's the 5th fret, A and D, 3rd fret, A and D, to a D chord. So all together, very slowly. Now, you could also play, instead of these sliding chords, you could play it with the open D and then hammer on to the first fret of the G string. So instead of this, you're playing. So you'd be playing. Then open D, 
open D, G open. Third fret of the D string to hit that F note. And then the D chord. So that's just an alternative way of playing it. I guess that's maybe easier. I'll play that slowly. Now the verse, I think it is just uh, just the D, D string pedal tone, open, and then the fifth fret of the G, and the sixth fret of the B. Move that up two frets to the again open D string, but the seventh fret of the G and the eighth fret of the B. So you're playing. Singing starts, just a D chord. It's those same two chords again. But this time you're playing. Second time it goes to the F to an A sharp an A. Now you hammer on to the first fret of the A string. So that goes like this. Quite tricky getting that timing. So I'll play the whole the sort of chorus bit. <laughs> goes back into the intro bit again. Plays that three times, then an instrumental break. Now this is all played on the D string. It's fifth fret, third fret, open. Stop on the third fret and the same again. Now the third time it does that whole thing twice but only stops on the F note the second time. So my advice is to listen to the tune and just play those three notes and try and get your ear tuned to, to where the F comes in. the soul. <laughs> 